For you who are thinking about your future career and what options there are, a booming industry here in America and around the world is medical devices. And lots of different engineering backgrounds can get into this. And our friend Ajay is going to share his experience working and giving tips on how to get into this medical device industry. Check it out. Hey friends, welcome to Shine Coaching. I'm Rob, and we love helping people be successful in their cross-cultural journeys, especially career search, study abroad, landing great jobs in fields that you're passionate about. And if you have an engineering background, something in the medical device industry could be a great fit for you. And Ajay is going to be sharing some awesome things about how to build your profile, certifications, what kind of engineers you need to be, and how to stand out for applying for these jobs. So you guys are going to learn a ton in this conversation. Ajay, please go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, everyone. Um, and thanks, Rob, for having me here. And myself, Ajay Panwar. I'm located in California. I work for Medtronic. Uh, Medtronic is the largest medical device company in the world. I'm a senior engineering manager. Uh, my responsibilities are leading the new product development. I'm basically from Vadodara, from India. Ajay, super excited to be hanging out and talking today. Appreciate you reaching out and be willing to share about your journey. And this is, yeah, a lot of people are really trying to get into this industry. But first of all, let's just kind of talk about this industry. What are the three important aspects of a medical device career that people need to know about? Great question, Rob. So the three top important aspects of medical device career are the number one is regulation. A medical device industry is highly regulated industry. Uh, there are two big regulations that we that we have to follow. One is 21 uh, CFR 820. The second is ISO 13485. 21 CFR 820 is in America and ISO 13485 is for European nations. Uh, but they both are similar uh, in nature. There's a lot of overlap. And the other countries have the other regulations uh, for their needs. And the second is types of medical devices that are outside there. And uh, those are class one, class two, class three medical devices. Class three being the highest risk. That's how we classify um, the risk present in the devices. The third is medical device design and development. As you want to know, like how you want to device design um, and how do you want to actually launch it in the market successfully. I do want to add another bonus topic into the aspects of medical device career is the risk management. Since anything that we make has an impact on the patient, uh, there is a thing called risk management like how we make the decisions, how we really determine what is really needed for a certain kind of decisions that we have to make. So risk management is another very important and the standard that we follow is ISO 14971. Fantastic. And Ajay, what kind of certifications should people be focusing on for a medical device career? There are, first of all, so many certifications available out there. I would just highlight two basic ones, which I believe everyone should have. Um, the first one is certified quality engineer, and the second one is certified biomedical auditor. Both of them are offered by American Society of Quality, ASQ in the short form. One certification will help you go deeper dive into the engineering requirements and engineering things. And the second one will help you understand the regulation standards and how you should be applying those into your businesses. Wonderful. So Ajay, what are some tips for people on how they can stand out when applying for these kind of job roles? Of course, as you are applying, um, there are hundreds of other people are also applying for the same job. So how to really stand out? I would say two things. One is when you are applying, try to relate your experiences with the job description. I know most of the time it is not 100% possible that you actually have all the experiences in the job description, right? Uh, but there are a lot of ways you can relate your current experiences with the job description requirement. And there's a simple way to do it, right? I mean, you basically apply how a certain project you have done is in alignment with the job description that you are applying for, right? So create and customize your resume according to that. The second is there are a lot of basic things that uh, we have to do in the medical device field, such as engineering change order, validation, which are IQ, OQ, PQ. They are very basic single skills. As you are applying through these jobs, I would recommend to start learning at least one skill at a time. It will take you maybe a couple of days or a week to really get a good understanding of that topic. I would add that 
skill to your resume as you are gaining understanding of those you do not need to have deep expertise or deep understanding you just need to have a good understanding of those as you progress through your roles or as you are progressing through uh, your job applications this will help you stand out and will set you apart from the other candidates amazing So friends, our chai question for you guys is what medical device company do you want to work for? Go ahead and tell us in the comments. Uh Ajay, he's right now working at Medtronic, one of the biggest uh medical device companies, you know, in America in the world. And yeah, let us know in the comments which company or job roles in medical devices you guys are interested in pursuing. And also with the resources that he's talked about, social the certifications, we'll have links in the video description for those as well. Now, Ajay Let's talk about the types of engineering roles that exist there for medical devices. I think this is one of the common question or maybe one of the question that people are not really aware of like what kind of engineering roles are there? People just go ahead and start searching engineering roles in medical device industry, but there are so many other roles that are available within the medical device industry. I would start with first R&D, research and development. second is quality engineering so quality engineering is again an engineering role where you apply the quality principles um into the product third is manufacturing engineering where you are responsible for the manufacturing of the medical device fourth is field engineering field engineering is something where you are going to be present in the field and helping physician understand how does the device work or sometimes you will be present in the surgery room where the device is being used and you will be helping them understand certain things happens during the surgery and during the procedure like how does the various things comes across and how do you guide them so that is an amazing uh, fourth role there are a lot of people who have sales skills and they want to combine their sales skills with the engineering skills and this this particular job actually helps them out a lot before we talk more about the kind of engineers that get into medical devices You guys, if you're learning a lot and getting value like me, give a big like and thumbs up to this video to say thanks to Ajay for helping out here. And we're actually going to be making another video with him as well, talking about his experience and journey doing a master's in mechanical engineering at Arizona State University and his MBA at UC Irvine. So be sure to check out that video as well. It's going to be really fun, really helpful. But Ajay, tell us, you know, which kind of engineers can apply for these roles in medical device companies so the types of engineering degrees who can apply for uh, jobs in medical device companies are um starting with biomedical engineering which is of course right uh, that's what you study and that's what you aim for going into the biomedical company there are other engineering degrees too such as mechanical engineering uh, material science engineering industrial engineering chemical engineering and also products and engineering those engineering roles can also apply for biomedical engineering jobs you just have to search for the specific role which aligns with your degree requirement and that will help you again set you apart from the other candidates who are generally applying to all the jobs within the medical device industry as you have learned so much this video has been packed full of information i know it's going to help a lot of people so thanks so much for coming and hanging out on chai and coaching and telling people about your experience and your journey uh in the medical device industry. Thank you Rob, thank you so much. Um thanks everyone for listening to me. Hope this helps. Definitely. And again, we're going to have all the links and resources uh in the video description. Be sure to check that out as long as the other video we're making with AJ. And yeah, connect with us online on social media. We want to continue to help you guys thrive and succeed in your cross-cultural journeys. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you guys next time at Chai and Coaching. Cheers. 